Okay, now that I've got my Apex updated, um, the firmware on my, my main Apex module, I need to update my WXM module. And so, you don't have to be hardwired um, like you do when you update your Apex. You can do this from a wireless connection. It's not really a problem because you're just doing this from the web interface. And so, the way you go about doing this is you, want, you have to get into uh, your WXM module and that's just done by going through the configuration here and then module and then I'll go ahead and select it um, and then you do a drop down and for me my WXM is number 12 so so this comes up and first thing you got to do is you've got to update your firmware so you want to select update firmware and then select submit module change screen will go white for a second and then it comes right back the next thing that you have to do is you have to update the WXM RF firmware and that's down here in the middle. So you just come down here, select that, select WXM firmware update and update firmware again. I don't know if you have to do that or not, I did. Um, and then you come down here to the bottom and you see it says revision 0.0. .0. Revision 0.0, .0. if you just watch that, it will change. What it's supposed to be is revision 1.11 and revision 1.2. So what it's doing is it's restarting. And there it is. If you can see that, it's 1.11. Right there, and 1.2. So, okay, so my firmware is all updated. And I am ready to, to do the big attachment of my radions. Now, I have not done this before, and I'm a little leery about this, but what the hell? This is why you bought the, the WXM module to, uh, to be able to control it with your Apex. Anybody that had, and maybe not everybody, but um, my experience with the EcoSmart um, uh, computer mod, or computer program from Ecotech, to control the radions is is really pretty bad. It, it's got kind of a neat little interface, but it's really difficult to work with. Uh, I find it just it seems like it crashes half the time for me. So I am I would be very very glad to get away from that. So now to attach your radions, once you attach them to the WXM, you'll no longer be able to connect to the lights with the EcoSmart. Um, so to do this, all you have to do is, once again, you want to be on this new WXM module, which I am here, and then you just come up to, down here it says Reset Radions. That's the first thing you want to do. You click that, and then in theory, and you can see the fish tank behind there, in theory, all those lights should go off. So let's, let's see what happens. It says, Warning, clicking OK will reset all your radions and WXM radio configuration to factory defaults. And that's what we want to do. So, here we go. Well, that didn't do a damn thing. And that's what I was afraid of. So, the radions did nothing. The lights are still on. Uh, obviously, I am doing something wrong here. I don't know what. But, uh, let me, I'm going to go ahead and manually power off my WXM module and let it see if it can reconnect or see if it can connect then to the radions and I'll try it again. So let me try that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I unplugged my WXM module for about 15 seconds and uh, uh, let's make sure that it still reads the right re revision 1.11 and 1.2. Okay, so Let's try this again. We're going to reset radions. All right, got the okay, warning message again. Try it again. Not doing anything. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I need to do more research. And as soon as I figure this out, I will be back.